Hey guys, I thought that we would put us together a sweet potato pie for Christmas. And um, I'll show you how I sh I'll show you how I do it. Um, I have got a little under well, don't worry about that, I'll tell you. Um I microwaved my sweet potatoes because that way you don't have to dry your pie out so much. You don't have to bake it so long. And I'll show you what I've done. I uh, baked enough for my pie here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There none of them ain't big. And uh, it comes to uh, 1.9 ounces. I need one and a half, which would be 1.8. But uh, that little dab ain't going to matter. And uh, after I got done baking them, I baked them uh, 10 minutes, then I had company come and they had cooled. You can't do nothing with them after they cool. It was, well, it's too hard. You, lose, you waste too much potato. So, um, I put them back in there for three minutes because they wasn't plumb done. And they don't have to be because you're, you're making a pie. They got to bake. So, um, I wanted to show you here. You see what I'm doing. I'm peeling that sweet potato. Now that it's been baked and warmed back up and I don't I don't need them both I'll probably just leave that other one I'm afraid that that other one will put too much in here and maybe mess up my sweet potato pie so I'll set this one over here and it's already baked it's after I'll eat it after a while um now I've got my one and a half pounds of sweet potato here and I microwaved them for 10 minutes and then I put them in for three more minutes to warm them back up. Now, if you do them the 10 minutes, that'll be fine. And uh, don't wait till they're dead cold, though, to peel them. You need to peel them. And uh, what you're going to need is uh, three quarter cup. You need one and a half pounds of uh, sweet potatoes. Three quarter cups of packed brown sugar. And you need, I've got it in here on top of sugar already. You're going to need a, a quarter teaspoon of um, salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. You need a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a half a cup of evaporated milk. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Uh, a quarter cup of softened melted butter and two eggs and I think that's everything and uh, I'm the worst hand to bake pie crust ever was this is my frozen pie crust I, I had to thaw it out and I'm going to poke it full of holes here so it don't puff up and I'm going to get in the oven because you got to do this pie a sweet potato pie in a prepared uh, pie shell. And let's see. I've got enough holes in. I'm going to poke plenty of them and let me poke up the bottom here. Alright. I've got to poke plenty full of holes. And I'm going to put it in the oven. It goes in on 400 for uh, 10 or 15 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn up. And then we'll turn our oven back down to uh, 350, and I'm going to go ahead and get everything mixed up here. And I'm going to start with uh, trying to break up my potatoes a little bit before I do anything. And then you will bake it on 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. But let's, uh, let's not knock nothing off. That'd be bad. Let's see here. But you can see that they're, that they're baked. Whoa! Titans get ready to go everywhere. Y'all probably don't want to hear this mess anyway. But, uh, I'll see if it's going to take very much to, I don't think it is. I'm 
that potato must have been a little bit bigger than the other ones. It's not hardly as done as the other ones. I believe I get my eggs and milk and stuff in here to really help it along. This is the fastest dad burn beater. I don't know what you call this thing. On low that I've ever seen in my life. I don't like it. I like low to be low. And you can hear it speeding right up. I use, Every time I use this thing, I make a mess. There, it's still a little bit better. Speed up, you devil. Oh, sweet potato on my arm. All right, now I'll get my... Let me try to get that out. Good Lord Almighty. Anyway, let's get us a couple eggs in here. I can tell what I'm doing. Oh, Lordy. We need two eggs. I thought the mess there was back here on the back of the stove with my tater peelings and plastic where I dump my brown sugar and now I add egg peelings to it. Let me get my hands wiped off a little bit. I never thought to grab me a dish rag before I or a dish towel before I started. Now let's see, let's get our one and a half teaspoons of right there's where I measured everything. All the spices. Alright, we'll need three of these. One, because it's half teaspoon. Two and whoops, well. It will not matter. It's gonna be good. No matter what. Let's get that over here. And here's the ginger that I had put in there and the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Get that over here out of the way. And let me see if I can tilt this to where say the salt and the and the ginger's in there. You can trust me, it's under the salt. And there's the cinnamon and the nutmeg. And uh yeah. Fuzz ball off something. All right, let's get this in there. And it does call for packed brown sugar. Three quarter cup. All right. Gosh, that ginger and nutmeg smells the best. My goodness. I don't know if there's an egg left in that or not. Yeah, one crummy little egg in that big old thing. I'll probably put that crummy little egg in the butter keeper. And, uh, Throw that big old thing away. I ain't never run in my refrigerator for for anything like that. If it ain't full, it needs out there. Uh, and I think this is a half a cup. Yeah, half a cup of evap evaporated milk. Where's the there it is. <coughs> I've been coughing like that all day. It ain't a cold or nothing. It's it's uh, allergy to something that's going on here in the house. Could be Deborah and Sweet Taste. Anybody develops allergies? I, I, I always figured you'd born with them or not, but no, that ain't true. You can develop allergies. Or I guess you might have always had them and they can get worse till the point that you notice them. But, uh, everything cops me to date. Any kind of tomato. Got it. Yeah, that's a lot better.
it, that potato there is not going to break up. Reckon it's got a bad spot in that side and I didn't know it. flung this everywhere, children. I do mean everywhere. She's pretty smooth. I was trying to get this that's around the top here that flung itself up where I want it down in there and mixed up with the rest of it. There's a big old lump. They're starting to break up. But they ain't going to do. You may have to run this through a strainer or something. Get that lumpy potato out of there. My smell my... Well, here they are. I smell my pie crust. Let me get me a, get her out or see what Matt's doing. You just like a little bit more. Now listen, I'm not going to bake this pie right now because I need to freeze it for Christmas. And you don't want to bake these, then freeze them because uh, they can, when you put them out to thaw out before you... Or, yeah, before, if you bake them first, then you put them in the freezer, and then you get them out to thaw, they can be soggy, and you don't want that. So you freeze them uh, raw. But now I still want my pie shell baked. And then after it cools completely, the whole nine yards, then I'll wrap it good in saran wrap, and I'll sock it in the freezer. And you can do that, and as, as long as you wrap it real good, uh, these will last like three months in the freezer if you, you know if you're planning ahead for whatever event might be coming up or something that but uh, I'm gonna get me a taste of this but I'm gonna put it in my pie shell and I will try my doggone to remember to uh, to film the baking of it but I, I you just want to bake it 40, 45 minutes, the first about 20 minutes, you put your uh, aluminum foil around your crust, top of your, sides of your crust are at the top, so it don't get burned up, and uh, uh, and if the middle is set good, you know, it ain't jiggly in the middle, then uh, then it should be done for you, and if all else fails, put you, put, put you a knife in it and pull it out, see if it comes out clean. But uh, I just want to let y'all know I wasn't going to bake it right now. I'm going to freeze it. But you know how to make it now. And we need to taste that. Because I tell you what, I might forget something. It won't be the first time. It won't be the last either. I can guarantee you that too. Oh. I could eat that raw with them raw eggs in it. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy, that's good. Mm, yum yum. I feel like it might need another little dab of sugar in it though. I might add me another. What'd I do with that? Perfect. I dropped this pie shell trying to get it to the uh, deep freeze the other day. I broke it all to pieces, but it don't hurt it none. It, it's perfect. It's done. And listen, the reason for poking them holes in is if you don't poke it plump full of holes, it gets air in between them layers and puff your pie up, and it just uh, ain't nothing good about it. And I'm going to add me another little dab of brown sugar to that. What I do with sugar? And, uh, 
see what I think about it then. It's where I had them extra, that extra sweet potato ounce. It makes a difference. Bacon's a pretty precise endeavor. I might do a pumpkin pie. I don't know yet. This is my oldest daughter's favorite pie right here. She loves this. Well, y'all definitely do a pumpkin pie. My youngest daughter loves them. And uh, my son loves the dressing better than anybody I've ever seen in my life. He loves it. And I'm glad it does. You don't make his mother's heart happy. Just extra brown sugar in it. good it was real good but I, I felt like it needed a little dab more sugar yeah oh my goodness mm. man I could take care of that I'm getting rid of my mess like you ain't here thing. I hate this thing there ain't no sense in that being like that I can't eject the tricks. Well, shh. Let me unplug it before I drop it in the sink and get myrtleized. There we go. All right, now let's get this in this pie shell. Get that sugar out of the way. It's too, too hot to handle. Put it right there. What pie shell turned out just right? big pack. There's enough here to uh well, I hate to waste that. I don't think that was a deep dish pie shell and I needed one. Well I'm gonna let this go and I'm gonna wrap it up and and I'll bring you back to see how I fixed it for for the freezer. I right, thank you guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. Now you just take your guess what I done. Dagnabbit, I am the world's worst anymore. I've got to dip this pie back out of here. And try not to, uh, what? It's pretty warm, but it won't burn nobody. Get it in here. I forgot to put the butter in it. That's why it wasn't smooth enough. That didn't have nothing to do with the, that lumpy potato, but I mean, it just didn't look smooth enough or no, enough or nothing. That's why. What about? I'm about ready for a keeper. I'm pretty sure I'm one of them's going to need more than one, honey. I'll have to put a bracelet on my leg. <laughs> uh, I think my kids already know that. They don't know what they're up against. Because you talking about hard-headed? I try not to be. It, it's a bad foul to mine. It's a bad failing. But it don't change the fact that it's the truth. 
and I can't say no thing about my little serena bug of being hard headed like that. Because, honey, she come by it fire and square. Boy, I me mean, forget to put that butter in there. Shh. Let me get it in there. My goodness. That's a shame. Let's just mix it up in there. Well, it already feels better. It needed that. Wish I found lumps from that tater. That was one, but maybe I can break it up. I don't like my pie having lumps in it, though. That's pretty good size lumps. Like it right there. What do I need in there? Well, everybody gets a lump, just gonna have to eat it. That's all I know, tell them. <coughs> but we're gonna have a good dinner and tell them that. All right, that, that's incorporated well enough. Let's just get it back in that pie shell and uh, let it be cooling. Then I'm gonna get it in the... Yeah, that's a, that works out a lot better. That It's a lot better than it was. And it's going to hold all the pie filling this time. I don't know what the butter does to it, but it does something. Because you've seen how much was, well, I don't know if I showed you or not, but there was a bunch left in that boat. Look at that. that. That butter sure does do something. It's even, even with all, all of it in there this time, I don't, it ain't one speck fuller than it was a minute ago. It's, it's a good deep pie, though. Now, I'm not worried about getting it too smooth. I just want it. I just want it to taste good. All right. And I'm going to try my best to remember. Let me rinse my hand off again. <coughs> I'm going to try my best to remember. Or, well, remembering ain't the problem. The problem will be having time to get it. Uh, baked either the night before Christmas, which would be ideal, or Christmas Day. And if you just don't get to see the end of it, like I said, bake it, put your aluminum foil around these edges so you don't burn your pie crust up. Uh, put it, suck it in there. After you've set it out now, let it thaw. It won't thaw completely before putting it in oven. And then uh, it's set in the refrigerator for three days, so you got plenty of time to put it in there and let it thaw. And bake it for about 20 minutes, and then get it out, take that aluminum foil off, or just take it off, whatever, and then put it in there for about 20, 25 more minutes. Now, this is thick pie. I might have to do a little bit more on it, because I had a little bit more potatoes. And uh, you'll know if it's done. Like I said, put your knife, pull it out if it's clean, or if the center jiggly, anything like that going on, it ain't done. Bake it some more. That's on 350. All right. I appreciate you bearing with me. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. <laughs> and here is our uh, sweet potato pie. And until next time, thank you. Okay, guys, I've got it. It's not froze nowhere near solid, but it is. I set it in the freezer to let it. Um, get a little bit cold so that it wouldn't stick, my pie wouldn't stick to this. Because I kind of keep the pretty look of it and not look like it's tore all to pieces when I thaw it out and bake it, which after it thawed out, I guess I could smooth it out, but I'm gonna wrap her up, cause she don't have it don't have to be wrapped within an inch of its life it is not gonna be in our long it ain't too many days till Christmas, and we'll be getting her out there give me one more dab across it and I've made peanut brittle and everything today.
I believe that that is good enough. That's, I think that was the third layer over on it. It looks real good. And I'm going to put her in the freezer and leave her there till either the Christmas Eve or the night before, or, or the Eve of Christmas Eve. <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you in, in a day or two. Thank you. Well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and just let this video be out there and so that you'll know how to make the pie because I got to thinking it won't do you no good to get get the directions after I've baked it because Christmas will be over. So I'm going to, I'm, that's my reasoning behind going ahead and putting it out there. Put the whole pie together and uh, the directions on how to do it. And it'll be delicious. You'll do a great job. Merry Christmas. Thank you.